Why, hello everyone, this is your, your favorite snow boy, and uh, today we're doing the another prediction, this time something different, which is the 2023 gubernatorial elections. Yes, there are gubernatorial elections happening in the states of Kentucky and Mississippi. Both of them are going to be quite competitive, to say the least, and we're going to see how they go. So we're going to start off with Kentucky. So in this race, we got incumbent governor... Andy Bashir, who is a Democrat, versus a Republican opponent, and Kentucky's Attorney General, Daniel Cameron. Now, I'm just going to be honest here about how it's going. Like, when Cameron first won the primary, everyone was expecting it to be a very competitive race. And even some expected Cameron to even win the race and unseat Bashir as governor. But in my opinion, it's becoming increasingly clear that uh, it's straight up not happening. Uh, Bashir for a red state governor. Andy Bashir is having a ve has very strong approval ratings, plus plus fifteen, plus twenty, even plus thirty at times. And uh, Mr. Cameron has ran a quite um lackluster campaign based on what I have seen. Also, polling shows uh, Bashir up by anywhere between uh, two to six, with one uh, one very one with one massive outlier showing Bashir winning by sixteen. Which is uh, obviously not happening. So in my opinion, it's going to be a little more competitive than some people expect. But I do expect it to be a lean margin for Bashir. About 2-4%. to 4 Like, I don't... Th I, I think Cameron has a very low chance of winning. Like, I give Cameron's chances at winning like around a 20% because of, well... The only thing that favors him because he's in a deep red state being Kentucky. Now that is... Out with Kentucky, let's move on to the state of Mississippi. Right here we got incumbent Republican Governor Tate Reeves versus his Democratic opponent, Brandon Presley, who, uh, fun fact, is actually a relative of the late uh, singer Elvis Presley, which uh, I don't know if barely anyone, if anyone knew, but, uh, well, there you go. Now, this is the same thing happened in... Uh, Mississippi as a as a as a Kentucky like at first many were expecting this to be a very very competitive race some even saying that Presley is going to win the election entirely unseating Reeves as governor but again just like Cameron it's becoming increasingly clear that I think Brandon Presley is not going to win this like recent more a lot of polling has been showing Reeves running away with the election when defeating Presley by around a Around six to eight points doesn't surprise me there. Although there was a couple of outlier polls that show uh, it being like separate, both candidates separated by one point or Presley winning it all in general. Now for this, I'm gonna give uh, Mississippi's gubernatorial race likely R. I think Reeves runs away with it anywhere between a, uh, I think six to eight percent. It could go up to nine percent. I'm not sure. It's just that it's a deep red state. A partisan lean is going to favor Reeves 100%. And I don't think Presley really has a chance in defeating Reeves. I give him like a 15% chance in defeating Reeves. And uh, yeah, it's going to be really short. So that's really, really about it. <laughs> there are uh, legislative elections going on in Virginia and New Jersey. But I am not going to cover them since uh, I am very uninformed about what's going on there. So yeah, that's all I have to say. Thank you for watching. Please uh, like, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. And uh, take it easy. Peace.